Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up a colour alert in your approved supplier list. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have an approved supplier list already set up. So I've just done a really really basic one here now which has the name of the supplier and the expiry date of their HACCP certificates. So what we want to try and do is make these dates colour coded based on if they've expired if they are still current and we'll also have an in-between one which gives you say a 14 day notice of expiry. So the first thing we want to do is to go up to this tab up here conditional formatting so click on that take note of this number here which is 3 and this column which is B so your dates the first date here sits in what we'll call cell B3 so go up, hit conditional format. We want to go down and click on new rule and then go down to here where it says use a formula to determine which cells to format. So our first formula that we want to put in will relate to it being green. So offset our green value to be anything that is greater than 14 days away so generally things that are still current so take note of this formula so it's equal b3 minus 14 greater than today and then bracket bracket now we want to set the format or the color to green so we click ok now see we're just doing in this cell here click ok we'll see that that turns green. Now we also want to go in and do a condition for things that are going to expire say in 14 days time so we go to conditional rule down to new rule down to that use to determine which cells and we're going to click paste in another formula so this one will be equals b3 minus 14 less than today's the two brackets which is the date and we're going to set this color at orange click OK click OK we haven't had anything show up there at the moment but that's OK now our final one is to go and set the red alert for any certificates that are expired past today's date so again click on conditional formatting down to new rule use formula and we're going to put in the following format or the value formula which is equals B3 because this is where our first field is plus zero less than today and the two brackets and we're going to set this color to red which means we've kind of used a traffic light system so click OK now as you can see we've only just got one highlighter hitter here so we want to make all of those conditions or all of those formulas we've just set to set to all of our data so go back up again to conditional formatting we want to go to manage rules and see we can now see the three rules that we have here now this bit here it's only got equals dollar sign capital B dollar sign 3 which is really just the first cell but we want to extend that to We'll just fix that up to dollar sign B oh hang on I didn't do dollar sign dollar sign B dollar sign and our cells go to number 19 so we want to copy and paste all that and you'll see just in the bottom here that it did change it all to cover those 19 cells we click apply and go OK so now we can see that the formulas have been set to all of our fields from 3 or our rows sorry down from 3 to 19 so green means that the certificate is still current red means that the certificate have, has expired and orange means that the certificate will expire in the next 14 days so today's date is the 17th of January 2015 so you can see anything that 
was before the 17th, uh, sorry, the 27th of January, will have been read. So here's the 15th of January this year, the 10th of December last year, September last year, 15th of January this year, 15th of January this year, the 5th of January last year. So they're all the ones that have expired. So that's probably the easiest way to set up an alert system using Excel. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Uh, let me know before this post if you have any issues. Thank you.